Why do you like to be scared? The thrill. Your heart races, your hair stands on end, your palms get sweaty. But how is that fun? Like a roller coaster's fun or a bungee jump. Like the cord's there to protect you while you taste the fear. And then when you bounce back to safety, you get this tingly rush of relief. I call it the feargasm. I warned you, all those stupid horror films have finally melted your brain. Join us, Lauren. Oh, stop it, you know I hate that shit. Brain freeze. Oh. Alex, if you keep eating ice cream, you're going to blow up before graduation. So, will you play with me or not? Seriously? In that creaky old house? I'm still traumatised from the hide-and-seek episode. Now that was fun. I'm so happy that me trapped in a closet crying is such a fond memory for you. Look, this is my last chance to embrace my inner demon. After graduation, I'll totally be like you and act sophisticated and not binge on ice cream or watch stupid horror films. I've heard the speech before, so I'm going to say goodnight, princess. Lauren, wait. For what? Allow me to enlighten you on the experience of having no Wi-Fi access. It's like being locked in a house in the most lush countryside with no windows. It is Halloween night. Please humour me. Play this one silly game with me one last time and I shall release thee. If you promise that it's the last time and also promise you'll stop speaking like that unless you're on stage or whatever. I promise. You crossed your fingers, didn't you? I did not. Okay, okay. You're on speaker. I'm embarrassed for you. Recite the Bloody Mary legend. Can we skip that? We've played this game so many times. We've always chickened out before the seventh chant. Come on. I want to do it right. I want to get in the mood. Ew. Come on. Mary came into town the last day of every month. Everyone thought she was a witch. Then, one day, she appeared with a baby, and the townsfolk presumed she stole it. They had a town meeting and decided that the men would go into the woods to her cottage and steal the baby back and return it to its rightful owner. One dark and stormy night, they broke into Mary's cottage and grabbed the baby, but Mary went insane and screamed the house down. She clawed at the men and even gouged one guy's eye. Eventually, they overpowered crazy Mary and tied her up in her bedroom in front of her dressing mirror and set the curtains on fire so she could watch herself burn. And as the men fled from the cottage with the baby, they heard Mary screaming seven times that she'd return and kill whoever took her baby. And? And? You're supposed to say, according to legend. Oh, right. Sorry. <clears throat> according to legend, if you walk backwards up a dark staircase at night with a mirror in one hand and a candle in the other and chant, Bloody Mary, I took your baby seven times. The ghost of Mary will appear and drag you into her burning hell. Now, why anyone would want to do that is another... Okay, okay, I'm ready. One. Bloody Mary, I took your baby. Two. Bloody Mary, I took your baby. Three. Billy Mary, I took your baby. Great, only four to go. We should be done by morning. Don't make me laugh. Come on. Four. Billy Mary, I took your baby. Five. Billy Mary, I took your baby. Alexandra Connell, are you ready for your feargasm? Give it to me.
showing up. I heard voices. Oh shit, Alice, what's going on? Are you okay? It's okay, it's just my grandmother. I'll call you later. Come on, Gran. Let's go back upstairs. Would you read to me, dear? Sure. Bible or Dracula? It doesn't matter. And in my dream I must have fainted, for all became black darkness. The last conscious effort which imagination made was to show me a livid white face bending over me out of the mist. I must, must be careful of such dreams, for they would unseat one's reason if there was too much of them. Bloody Mary, I took your baby. Alexandra. Sorry, Mom. I thought you were lying. I hope you don't answer your grand's phone like that all the time. Actually, I think this is the first time this phone has rang since the 90s. So, how's Aunt Dudley's? Place still smelling like rotting rat corpses? The house is lovely, thank you very much, but uh, it's not the same without you. Okay, we already did the guilt tripping. I'm not guilt tripping you. I'm just saying it's not the same without you. You know I think you're very responsible to look after your gran. So is Dad dragging you out fishing? He was trying to teach me about the different baits, and he was on and on with Eleanor. First you need to know what you're fishing for, and then you choose your bait accordingly, or you're wasting your time. And I was trying to pretend to be interested, and... And is your grandmother lucid? You're not still reading Dracula to her, are you? And is she taking her pills? Yes, yes, and yes, we've had no problems. Keep her away from Grandad's homemade spirits in the cellar. I keep meaning to trash that stuff. Now that I mentioned, would you please do that for me? Do you remember I have a thing about the cellar? Of course. What was it? You thought a witch lived down there. And who could forget the ghost of the little clown in the east wing? I don't think it's appropriate that you make fun of your daughter's phobias. You were 14, Daffy. Okay, if you're going to insist on the Daffy nickname, I'm going to insist on hanging up. I'm going, I'm going, but... I left you a little something. Really? A surprise graduation present from your father and me. Check under your bed. But don't forget to trash Grandad's booze. I don't want Gran in her current state. Judy calls nurse Alex. Tell Dad I said hi. I will. And stop sucking your thumb. You're a college graduate now. Good night, Mother Dearest. Good night, Daffy.
Gron, what's the matter? Oh, you're freezing. Do you want me to get you a hot water bottle? No. Over in the east wing, the storage room at the end of the corridor, I have some lovely thick woolen blankets and a great chest of memory serves. Would you mind, dear? The east wing. Midnight game. What did you say, dude? The midnight game? I found it in the East Wing. What were you doing fooling around in the East Wing? You know it's not safe out here. Never mind. Don't never mind me, young lady. Where's your father? Is he over there, too? He's fixing the heating. And he said to get warm under the blankets and go asleep. And when you wake up, he'll be with you. So you did play. Oh, it smells like old coins. Okay. The object of the midnight game 
is to invite the supernatural midnight man into your home and avoid him between the hours of 12 midnight and 3.33 a.m. Should you choose to play, you will need a pencil, a needle, mm -hmm. a candle, matches, salt cellar, a clock that chimes on the hour, check, and a wooden front door. Check to start. Sit before the front door and write your name on the player sheet. Take the needle and prick the index finger of your writing hand. Rub your blood beneath your name. Not doing that. Once your blood marks the paper, you may light your candle. Upon the first chime of midnight, knock on the wooden door 12 times, making certain that the final knock falls precisely at the 12th strike of midnight. Next, open the door and blow out the candle. Count down from 10, close the door and relight the candle. Jeez, instructions are vague. Congratulations, you've summoned the Midnight Man. You must avoid him between the hours of midnight and 3.33 a.m. Be warned, should your candle blow out, the Midnight Man is near and you must relight it within 10 seconds. Failing that, surround yourself in a circle of salt and stay within it until 3.33 a.m. If you fail to do this, the Midnight Man will. Midnight Man will what? I need you to do me a favour and look up this game, the Midnight Game, online because I'm missing the last piece of instructions and I need to know more before I uh, dive in. You mean you're too scared to jump in the deep end and this is the second favour, by the way. Friends don't count favours. Friends don't use friends. Please just consider being normal and not playing some weird board game for grandmothers. Like, go get drunk or something. What a great idea. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to be looking after my gran, who may just be in the early stages of dementia. Look, I know you need your beauty sleep, but it'll only take you five minutes, please. No, you're a manipulative addict and I'm not enabling you anymore. If you don't do it, I'm going to tell Ben Tramer you're obsessed with him. There, I said it. You and your damn fear-gasms. Okay, but hurry, because I need to start before midnight. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't eat any more ice cream, princess, or you'll turn into a pumpkin at midnight. such a wimp.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. game again. Okay, test time, Alexander. Show it your candle blight. The midnight man is near. You must relight it within 10 seconds, or failing that, surround yourself in a circle of salt and stay within it until 3.33 a.m. Or else. <coughs> Damn it, Lauren. You're late. Alex, listen to me. Whatever you do, do not play that game. a mother load of freaky websites about this midnight game. Some idiot did a live vlog of his experience and ended up in a coma. He's a total vegetable, Alex. You have oh, to... What the hell's a vlog? Jesus, a video vlog. I'm downloading it right now, but I'm way too freaked out to watch it. I'll check it out tomorrow. Maybe. I'm glad I caught you. That information would have been really helpful to me about two minutes ago. You went ahead and started the game, didn't you? What was I supposed to do? I told you I had to call me back before midnight. Oh, so it's my fault for getting the information you wanted. Chill, it's no biggie. I'll just call it off. I'll forfeit the game. You can't just forfeit. If you try to quit or turn on the lights or go to sleep, it gets worse. I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you believe all this stuff. It's just a game for grandmothers, remember? Just a game? Well, what if you screw up and can't relight the candle and don't stay in the circle? Then what? I'm listening. The Midnight Man will induce hallucinations of your greatest fears forever. I think that's what happened to the guy on the vlog. He's trapped in a coma, experiencing his worst fears on repeat. You've invited the devil into your grand's house. Hold on a sec. Who, who said anything about the devil? Jesus was crucified at noon and died at 3 p.m. He was 33 years old. Who the hell do you think the Midnight Man is? My gran played this game. And she's a vegetable. My grandmother is not a vegetable. She just gets confused. Are we clear? I'm sorry. I'm just worried for you. I mean, you're the worst person on earth to play this game. What are you talking about now? Hello? Remember my 12th birthday sleepover? You were convinced a demon was under my bed trying to possess you. My mother had to drive you home. You still sleep with the light on and are afraid of clowns and thunderstorms. Your worst fear list is as long as my dream shoe list. Just promise me you'll call me at 3.33, okay? So I know you didn't turn into a vegetable. Promise. Godspeed. Jesus. Five past midnight. Only three hours and 28 minutes to go.
Hello? Hello? No, you stay away from her. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Cron, you right here? What are you doing? Last night I saw upon the stair a little man waiting there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. Can you hear me? Run. All my life upon the stair, the midnight man waiting there. From 12 at night to 3.33, the midnight man waiting there for me.
Where am I, dear? Did they put the power out, dear? No, I... It's that dreadful storm again. Storm? Discharge. Bloody Mary, I found your baby. Ooh, Granddad's boobs. Okay. Not bad, Granddad. <laughs> well, paint's your friend. <gasps> Smooth. Okay, time to go. Oh. <laughs> 
Grant, you're supposed to stay in bed. Gran? Is that you?
this video with us. Just smile and enjoy it. Two thirty. It's so funny, I need your help. Alexandra. Mom? Oh, Alexandra. Why are you crying? It's your dad. He came and he dragged his boat down onto the water. Was, what was? He dragged him down and he's gone. Oh, and, and now he's coming for me too. Oh, he'll be next.
Lauren? Who is this? It's me. I'm in the middle of the game, and I screwed up. And then the middle man is making me see all this crazy shit. And time is going backwards, and I don't know what's real or fake. And I need your help, okay? I don't know who this is, but you better not call me again. Lauren, it's Alex. Wake up. I need you to find out how to get me out of the midnight game. Grow up. Alex, open up with Lauren. It's Lauren. Wait, you just hung up on me. I jumped in my dad's car and I'm here now. Just open the door. This is bullshit. You didn't know who I was a minute ago. Okay, okay. I was playing with you. Sorry. You're not the only one who can have fun, you know. Now open up and let's play together. What do you mean? I want to play hide and seek again, like when we were kids, remember? I don't want to play anymore. Like you said, maybe I should just grow up. Suit yourself. If you won't let me in, I'll just have to huff and puff and blow my way in. Hiding, Alex. You're in the pantry. You're always in the pantry. You're not real. But I am real. Open your eyes and you'll see. Not real. I'm your sweet little friend, Alexandra, and I can poke you. <laughs> I can poke you and pull your hair. <laughs> it's okay, dear. I've got you. I'm here. Oh, hush, Alexandra. Hush. I know you're you. Who's your favourite author? Bram Stoker. Ireland's finest. Yeah, but if you're a hallucination from my head, you'd know that.
I'm afraid this is all my fault, dear. No, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I thought the game would be fun. I should have warned you. I made the same mistake. And I've been paying for it ever since. What do you mean? Come with me. Back to the East Wing. you play the midnight game, it never truly ends. It traps you in one drawn-out hallucination of your greatest fears. You go from one moment to the next, wondering what's real and what's only in your mind. You must not trust anyone. You're still in the game. Trapped in a waking nightmare just like you, my dear. Why didn't you just destroy it? I was selfish, my dear. I knew deep down I'd be throwing away my only chance for salvation. The genie was out. But I couldn't bring myself to throw away the bottle. So I hid it in the East Wing like a bad secret. Until... Until the right person came along. I'm so sorry, my dear. I couldn't take the risk of you backing out of the game. You have the strength and courage I never had. You could put the genie back and get us out. You use me. Please help me, Alexandra. I'm so tired of being afraid. The Midnight Man is an illusion, like a bad trick inside your mind. If you can make him appear in the flesh on this plane, you could have a chance to destroy him once and for all. You could spend your life trapped in an endless night of horror. Or you could set yourself and his victims free. How? Use the spirit board. Burn our blood in the camp. Alexandra Connell. And I call on the Midnight Man to appear in this house. In the flesh. I summon the Midnight Man. Summon the midnight man. I 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 summon the midnight man.
Alexandra? So where are you?
front. I'm okay. Because you did it. You beat him. It's all over. It's not over until we get rid of that game. You're right. But first, I'm going to make you the best breakfast you've ever had. Because you're my sweet little girl, Alexandra. Now, lead the way to the kitchen. You go in there. When I came home last night at three, the man was waiting there for me. But when I looked around the hall, I couldn't see him there at all. Go away, go away, and please don't slam the door. Thank <laughs> you. 